A lot of times there are environmental contaminants that are accidentally released. And if you could know quickly that they were being released, then you could do something about it. It can have a really big environmental impact and it's oftentimes accidental. So the question is, can you sense your contaminants quickly so that you can stop them from having the very detrimental impacts? One of the things we know is that microorganisms basically know what's going on around them in their environment. And what we sought to do was to take that and, and use those abilities to basically detect contaminants. And then we had to do some really clever and hard engineering to convert those signals from chemical signals into electrical signals with bacteria. One thing that's really interesting is cells that are the scale of a micron, you know, one one millionth of a meter, are sensing stuff all the time. And when you think about devices we build to sense things, these are things you hold in your hand or big instruments on a bench top. And so what's really exciting is we've leveraged cells to take their sensing and communicate that electrically to our devices. We're making those bacteria or microorganisms can generate electrical signal. So, and then you can connect them in a different way that to kind of power this LED light. It actually looks almost like a little hockey puck <laughs> that has, that's wired up um, to a, essentially a device that measures current. Small, fast, cheap, and easy to build. We grow the microbes. We literally give them sugar and they reproduce our synthetic microbe. We then encapsulate them in miniature materials that'll allow us to detect the current. The cells, when they die, can give rise to new cells, which can still have the same function. I will compare it to other things. If you wanted to sense many chemicals in a bayou or in wastewater, you need a big instrument that will measure many molecules at once. What we're trying to do is make miniature microbes that sense chemicals and make an electrical signal. So you just grow a bunch of microbes and put them on a device and they read out all these things they're sensing. So what's exciting for us is this is the prototype device that where we show it's possible, but we were able to show it's modular too. So it can actually sense different chemicals by very quickly reconfiguring it. What's been so powerful about this project is collaboration. One of the reasons it took six years is because we hit a problem. And what we found was many times that the solution didn't come from, if it was a biological problem, sometimes the answer came from materials engineering. And sometimes when it was a materials problem, the answer was a biological engineering approach. So it just, to me, it's how important it is to do cross-disciplinary research and do collaborative research.